All right, we're out looking at property number four. Uh, same issue, uh, suspicion of grub damage. Uh, so we're gonna take a look around. We're gonna look at the brown areas of the yard and, and the overall state of the yard. Uh, we'll, we'll start here looking at the edges. You can see that there's crabgrass around the edges. You can see the purple in color from the herbicide damage. Not damage, but the herbicide control of the plant. You see how it's purpling out. And uh, you see a lot of the brown of the plant at the core. The plant is dying. Um, also through here, definitely hit with the quinclorac. Good job to the tech that's done that sprayed this yard. Um, let's cross the driveway and look at some of these brown areas. So brown area right here. We'll just start in here. Simply come down, find a green spot that's in in the turf in in the brown section. Pull on it come out to the outer edge of the brown area pull on it on the green area I don't know if that was kind of confusing <laughs> but um, again if we if we actually get down on our hands and knees and pull on this turf and actually take a look at the leaves you can simply pull out right here you got more fungus issues you need a shot of that got it all through here here's another one you can just see the spotting on the leaves it's obvious fungus damage root systems intact um, if I had a soil probe today I would probe this area too to look for additional rocks um, that's drying this out now another issue we have going on here is this grass is cut too short it looks to me like they're probably cutting about two and a half inches tall. It needs to be an inch taller than that. It needs to be cutting three and a half, four inches tall, especially through the heat of the summer. More crabgrass here on the corner. Quite a bit of crabgrass dying right here. You can see the quinclorac taking effect when the purpling of the leaves here. Um, you guys all know this is crabgrass. It's tough to kill. You just got to keep hammering it every single time we're out on these properties keep doing that we'll get effect like this we're on the side of the garage here you can see this giant brown area uh, forming up again it was identified as grub damage pull on the turf take a look at it we can see the lesions once again all over the uh, the turf grass um, root systems intact everywhere you pull up on it if you just uh, get in here and look, once again, brown patch. Got it? Yeah. I mentioned a little earlier, um, we're also cutting the grass too short on this property. You guys should be able to look at your, at your feet, your grass cutting height should be well above your toes of your shoes three inches three and a half inches uh, anywhere from three and a half four inches is going to be over the toes it's going to be well up over your shoes so if it's even or less it's definitely being cut too short um, if we walk right over here to the neighbor you can see that their cutting height is just a little higher but probably cutting a little short over here as well all right, so pretty big brown area here. Again, we're gonna go ahead, pull on the turf, look at the leaves, see what we can determine in this area. Um, we'll get down, we'll pull on this, we'll pull some of this up. And you can see, can you wanna come in here? This is a, more of a thatch layer problem is what you're having here you can see how spongy this material is that pulls up again all the root system is intact it's tearing uh, when you pull up on the turf it's hard to pull up there's no air pockets underneath it or anything like that but it's like a sponge in here this the, a, a heavy thatch layer is going to affect um, all of the nutrients getting into the to the plant that's going to block a lot of the nutrients that we're trying to feed the plant this is probably just a four or five year old uh, sod that was put in. 
and it's definitely due for an aeration seeding that'll help. Definitely want to make recommendations to aerate and seed this property, possibly even an AVS, aerate, verticut, and seed it. So we verticut, and actually you definitely want to do it looking at this. This has got some bare areas here, so we would want to definitely recommend aerating, verticutting, and seeding this property.